Hi everyone, I'm Lance Eaton and I'm the instructor of Popular Culture in the US, a course at North Shore Community College that is going to be offered online in spring 2014. So what is this course about? This course explores popular culture from a variety of different vantage points and really gets to the, the crux of what is popular culture and what do we understand about it? What do we want to do with it? How do we want our society to engage with it? And so we look at issues related to popular culture, such as consumerism, mass media, technology, viewer participation. Uh, we really try to understand what happens when people sit down and engage in popular culture and move past the superficial and really get into a lot of deep nuanced ideas about popular culture that we may not generally think about with popular culture. And that's an important thing to understand about this course is that it is academically challenging. It requires us to say, no, popular culture is not frivolous. In fact, there's a lot of complex and nuanced things about popular culture that we're gonna explore within this course. So hopefully we're going to look at a variety of different topics within popular culture and either change how you as a student understand it or at least bring some level of complexity that you were not aware of previously. So what are some of those subjects that we're looking at? Well, we're going to look at pulp novels and dime novels. We're going to look at film. We're going to look at comic books. We're going to look at music. We're going to look at old time radio and radio dramas. We're going to look at television. We're going to look at the internet and social media. And we're going to look at dancing or dance halls all the way up through today with clubbing. So we're going to look at those subjects and really try to get more into them than what we other, uh, otherwise usually associate with them. All right, so we have a variety of, of required course materials. The first is three films, all of which will be available in the library on the Danvers campus for in-library use. Uh, these films we we really do need to take a look at and since it's not a face-to-face -face class but an online class students will need to kind of get a hold of these on their own either by going to the library or using your own means and resources. So those include Tales from the Crypt which is we're talking about the documentary not the TV show, the film Bamboozled by Spike Lee and But I'm a Cheerleader. We also have a course textbook, Popular Culture in American History, edited by Jim Cullen, and that book really is a case is a collection of case studies uh, along the line, addressing a lot of the things we saw in the previous slide. So, how or what are some of the assignments that students are going to encounter in this course? Well, the first is introductory material. As an online course, uh, we usually have a, a little bit of housekeeping to do in the first week or two that students will need to do in order to get settled into the course. We have the article analysis where students find an academic article on some element of popular culture and kind of write what that article is about and how it connects to the course. Uh, we have discussions which for an online course is the, is the crux of the course and we have one every week. And we also have the popular culture event paper where students will choose a popular culture event such as going to a sports game or going to a concert or going to a parade or some kind of really interesting popular event and writing about what it is they see after in through applying the course ideas and concepts. So it's a really fun paper where students actually get to go out into the field and study popular culture. And then finally, we have this paper, what is, popular, uh, what is Popular Culture? And this is an ongoing paper that the student will write throughout the semester as we learn and pick up different pieces of the puzzle, as we get more familiar with the material and ask ourselves, you know, what, what more do we understand about popular culture? So what are the benefits of this course? Well, by the end of this course, students will be able to apply theoretical analysis to popular culture. This is a really good tool. This helps you as the student see what's going on underneath. Evaluate how popular culture has influenced history and how U.S. history has influenced popular culture. Uh, to better understand the ways in which these two things relate, U.S. history, popular culture, and how they continually shift and influence one another. Explain what popular culture is and why it exists. We have lots of people who want to throw out all sorts of opinions about how valueless or meaningless popular culture is, but through this course you're going to be able to better understand what it is and explain why it's there and what purposes it serves. As well as articulate the purpose and value of popular culture studies, that is, not just 
the value or understanding what popular culture is, but what the value is in studying popular culture. What's important? Why, why do we study popular culture? And then finally, be able to analyze popular culture from, from various disciplines in theories such as history, semiology, literary studies, and etc. That is really kind of get this very wide range of view, this interdisciplinary view of popular culture. And there's also more. You have the opportunity to be challenged intellectually in a safe environment. I look at all of my teaching as the opportunity for students to experiment, to try different ideas on and to talk about them and see if they work or they don't work without any kind of punitive result. The chance to improve your written, spoken, and thinking skills uh, that apply, and this, this applies beyond the, core, uh, the content of the course, right? This, is, this course has the chance to make you a better writer, speaker, and thinker. Uh, you also have access to a lifelong learner who is both passionate about the subject matter and students learning, and that's me. Uh, and finally, to be a part of a learning community that explores and discusses the rich and complex elements of popular culture. So again, really kind of getting to talk with other people and hear and understand and learn from them what is popular culture and how do we as a group make sense of it. So that's pretty much what the course is about. I hope it has struck some chords of interest and in that you're going to want to find out more. If you do, please contact me. There's my email up on the screen. And if you're ready to sign up for the course, by all means, go to northshore.edu and sign up for the course. I look forward to hearing from you or seeing you online. Thank you for your time.